So hey what's up guys this is Jolin here from TechOnet. So in this video today I have the JBL Club 950NC with me and these are premium range of headphones from JBL. JBL as we know is a very reputed brand is amongst the top most in audio accessories with a variety of products in different budget. So how does the Club 950NC fare in real life? Let's have a look. So now unboxing the beautiful design box, we find a lot of documentation including the quick start guide and we have the USB Type-C cable for charging, so an aux cable and finally the headphones in the sharing case. These are available for 13,500 Indian rupees on Amazon India and I will leave the best buy links in the description below if you guys are interested. As for the physical overview, the JBL Club 950NC are made up of good quality plastics which doesn't feel cheap at all. On the top, we find the headband with a bit of hard cushioning. We then have the JBL branding on both the ear cups with some noise cancellation microphones and left and right tension on either ear cups. On the left ear cup, we have the power on off button couple of LEDs to indicate if the Bluetooth is on or connecting. Then we have the ANC on and off and talk through button. And then we have the ANC on LED and the headphone jack. There's also a button embedded in the JBL logo which is used to bring up the Google Assistant or Alexa. On the right ear cup, we have the volume plus and minus button along with the multifunctional button. The base boost button, the charging LED and the USB Type-C port for charging. Coming to the design and the build quality first, the JBL Club 950NC headphones have a flexible ergonomic headband that is padded on the inside. The cushioning for the head is slightly on the harder side but the material used looks to be of a good quality. The ear cups are adjustable and also collapsible which makes it portable and easy to stow. The breathable ear cups are decently cushioned with memory foam but I really feel the cushioning should have been slightly better on the ear cups. So although they sit comfortably on my ears, people with slightly bigger ears could face a slight discomfort. So the hinges and the extension straps are made out of metal which ensures plenty of strength. The headphones are made out of good quality plastics and the buttons feel quite tactile. So having said that though, the build is amazingly sturdy and these do not feel cheap at all. So as for the comfort, the headband fits perfectly over my head and the ear cups sit snug on my ears, which gave me a comfortable experience while using the headphones. But after an hour or so, I experienced slight discomfort. But it's also worth noting that these headphones are slightly on the heavier side but you will get used to it eventually after using them for a few days. The clamshell case which is provided is also of a good quality and you can easily store the headphones in when not in use. As for the connectivity, the JBL Club 950NC has two types of connectivity options, aux and the Bluetooth. So it's an absolute win for most of us if the battery runs out when you're in the middle of something then you can still keep the work flowing by connecting the aux cable. Connecting the headphones to the smartphone was very simple. Turn on the headphones by long pressing on the power on of buttons. You will notice a blue light blinking which indicates that it is the ready to pair. Then you have to turn on the Bluetooth on your smartphone, go on to the Bluetooth settings to locate the headphones and pair them with your smartphones. The Club 950NC uses a Bluetooth 5 technology and it ensures a secure connection with minimal latency. I didn't face any connection issues with these headphones. These headphones are also a great choice for gaming or watching movies. Although I didn't notice any lip syncing issues while watching movies, I would recommend using the aux cable while gaming for much better experience. They also have an exceptionally powerful Bluetooth card. The Bluetooth range of 10 meters as claimed by the company also worked as advertised and I didn't face any connection drops while moving around. The call quality is good with the JBLs employing the dual mic configuration to help deliver clear voices and I rarely got any complaints from the receiver's end. To make the most of the Club 950 NCs, 
download the my jbl headphones app for ios and android here you can see the battery life the left and the cans and also enable the auto on off function that cuts the power after they have been left alone for 10 minutes so the app also allows you to experience some of the audio processing features at your disposal and gives you the ability to configure some of the controls you also have then access to an equalizer with uh, presets assigned to certain JBL ambassadors including Armin van Buren, Nicky Romeo and Tigali. Press the stage plus button in the app, pick your DJ and you can experience the audio which is tweaked by them or you can create your own equalizer settings. The JBL 950 NC have a 730 mAh lithium ion polymer battery and the company claims that it will give you a 55 hour playtime with the ANC off. I used it on 60 to 70 percent volume and I managed to squeeze around 22 hours of usage with the ANC on. These have got a respectable battery life in comparison to its counterparts. The charging time is around 2 hours which is great considering its battery life. The company also claims that with a 15 minute charge it can go on for 2 hours and with my testing, I managed to get around the same for this claim, which is good enough. It's also worth noting that it features a Type-C charging, so you do not need to carry a separate charger, rather you can charge it with your smartphone charger itself. Now to give you a slight idea about the functions of the button, pressing the multifunctional button once will play or pause the track. Also this button is used to pick or reject calls. Pressing the plus or the minus button will increase or decrease the volume and also long pressing the plus button will skip to the, the next track whereas long pressing the minus button will skip to the previous track. Finally double pressing the multifunctional button will activate the voice assistant. Pressing the ANC button for 2 seconds will either turn off or on the ANC whereas tapping the same button once will activate the talk through mode. Now coming to the sound quality, the JBL Club 950NC features a pair of 40mm drivers. These are very large enough to provide a full spectrum of sound with no loss of quality. The bass on these is balanced, while the low bass is recessed. The rest of the range is slightly overemphasized, giving extra thump and warmth that doesn't sound too boomy or muddy. Almost the entire high and the mid ranges are well balanced and even resulting in present and natural sounding vocals and instruments. And if you want to pump up the bass, all you have to do is press the bass boost button. This will provide punchy driving bass on almost any genre. You can also play with the equalizer on the JBL headphones app as per your liking or you can use among the 5 presets present in the app. But even after using them, I didn't feel much of an improvement in the music. So the ANC on the JBL Club 950 works very well. It successfully manages to cut out decent chunk of external sound. Sitting on the chair, I was unable to hear the approaching footsteps of the person and the whirring of the fan was high on eliminated. So higher frequency sounds typically provide more of a challenge for noise cancellation cans. On top of ANC, you have two smart ambient modes that you can switch between via the JBL headphones app. I found the cracking of the ANC mics too much in the talk through mode, but the ambient aware works extremely well. I would rate it 8.5 out of 10 purely on music basis and 8.5 on 10 for the build quality. So finally, as for my verdict, the JBL Club 950 NC are a good pair of over the ear headphones, if not the best. They are decently comfortable enough to wear for long periods and their 22 hour battery life should easily last most of the time. Unfortunately, while they have ANC, it doesn't do much to help, the help with blocking out background noises, especially in the bass range, where the, the low rumble of buses and plane engines sit. On the bright side, their well balanced sound profile is suitable for most content from music to podcasts and their control scheme is robust so if you're looking for the bluetooth headphone under this price range then you can look at these but i would also suggest you to have a look at other options available before making a choice 
So guys, that's it for the video and I really hope you liked it. If you did, then kindly hit that thumbs up button or else you can vote it down. Do subscribe to me if you haven't and hit that bell icon to get notified whenever a new video goes live. So until next time, you guys take care. Ciao.